Hi everyone, it's Coot here, sending you love wherever you are as Christmas season approaches. I send your families and communities love and nourishment and blessings during this time. You know, I've received a few different emails recently from so many folks asking a similar thread of a question, and I thought I would just address it briefly. The question is something like, you know, along the lines of, how do I know, how do I know if someone's lying? to me? How do I know? How am I able to discern whether someone's lying or not? And how am I able to really feel into the truth? So that I don't get myself hurt over and over and over and over and over and over again. How do you know if someone's lying to you? Here's what I'll say. The bottom line is you and I, you and I, we are all 7 billion people completely interconnected. At the deepest level we are one. It might appear that we are separate beings, separate from each other, but we are one. And there's a part of us, there's a part of me that's connected to you, that's connected to everything and everyone on this planet. At that deepest level, we are connected. So there's a part of each of us, I believe, that knows everything because at the, that deepest level, we are everything. We are everything. Yet as children, we have this, in, this kind of intuitive sense. We have this intuitive knowing. We just know things. I mean, how do you know things? That filter, that connection between the, the heart and the deeper knowing is still unclogged. Yet as children, we, we get conditioned. We deal with life. We deal with our parents. And slowly, we disconnect. We, we learn to shut down our feelings in order to not feel the pain, the suffering, the trauma, the stuff that's the insanity of life, the stuff that's going on out there, and we slowly shut down, close down, close down parts of ourselves, suppress parts of ourselves so that we don't have to feel, but what often happens in that moment is we, we also disconnect from our refined sensitivity, our capacity to feel deeply. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do I, what does that have to do with, uh, you know, discerning if someone's lying to you or not? I found that since we're connected and since we're deeply feeling creatures, at the deepest level, you know. How many times have you said when maybe someone betrayed or betrayed you, took money from you, cheated on you, did something, or they lied to you in some way? How many times have you said after the fact, darn it. I knew, I, I knew it, I knew it. I, I look back years ago, especially in my life, so often friends, those in my life, associates, I, I, I just had a sense and often that inkling, that inkling as intuition, that inkling, that sense arises as a small little inkling. It may not be a big thing. You might not have proof for why people are doing what they're doing. You may not have, you know, tangible reality, but it arises as a sense. The first key, I believe, is to really connect with yourself and to feel deeper. To connect with yourself, to take responsibility for what you do sense, what you do feel, and trust the inklings, trust the sensations that arise in you. Where maybe you meet a person in your life, maybe you meet someone in a relationship that you're about to start dating, maybe you're in a relationship and you feel like, hmm, something feels a little off here. Something feels a little off, but perhaps you don't want to believe it. Perhaps you don't want to know it. Perhaps you, 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 know, you really love that person or you really want to be with that person or you want to be friends with that person. You want to do that business still so much. You so want it to be a certain way that how you want it to be and what you're projecting in terms of what you want the outcome to be is clouding your ability to discern the truth, your ability to fully acknowledge what it is you are really feeling deeply. So the first thing is you have to be feeling deeply and in touch with you before you can tell if someone else is lying to you or not, you have to be feeling, feeling deeply in touch with yourself, in touch with your emotion and be willing to not lie to yourself. Because if you take on that responsibility and you say, okay, I'm going to feel deeply, I'm going to acknowledge my feelings, I'm going to not suppress what I feel. If you take that on and you, in, in, in essence, when you don't listen to your deeper feeling, what you end up doing is you end up lying to yourself. And in doing so, you simply set yourself up. What you do is you set yourself up to be betrayed. You set yourself up to be lied to. You set yourself up if you're being true to yourself. If you're being 
authentically connected with what you feel, with your sense, with your inkling, with your deeper intuition. No matter what anyone does to you, they cannot lie to you. Well, they can do what they're doing, but you are being honest with yourself. And as a result, you can make certain choices. You can make certain decisions accordingly, not based on what they're telling you, which may not be true, but based on the deeper knowing that you sense and feel in your heart. When you are being honest with yourself and owning your feelings and being truthful with yourself about what you feel without justification, without making it wrong, but saying, boom, this is what I feel. And this is and often that deeper feeling is beyond the mind, it's, a, it's beyond the emotion, it's a deeper sense. And some of it is so subtle that we often don't pay attention to it. So many clients I've spoken to, you know, maybe their relationship come to me and their relationships have ended, something happened, their partners cheated, betrayed, or, or just it just didn't work out and, and you know they may often be in tears and in pain and feeling, you know, the heart broken. And when it comes down to it, I'll look them in the eyes. I'll look them in the eyes in that moment to own responsibility for their part. They'll often confess and say to me, Coop. The truth is, when I first met this person, the truth is I knew that this wouldn't work. The truth is I had a sense, but I didn't <clears throat> listen. When you don't listen to that deeper knowing, you betray yourself. When you betray yourself, you set yourself up to be lied to. Honor yourself. That is one of the first keys. Honor yourself, take responsibility, and be willing to feel deeply. Feel yourself deeply. But when you're in contact, when you're in relationship, when you're relating to another human being, don't just listen to the words because people can talk a good talk all day long. How many people do you know that speak a good talk and they tell you what you want to hear? They tell you what, what they think you want to, what they think you want to uh, them to say and, and, and they'll talk and they'll talk and they'll talk and it will sound great and they might even say what you want but if you're really feeling don't listen to their words feel deeply feel 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 into the heart if you feel into them if you feel through them if you feel underneath the words you will feel where they're coming from you'll feel the vibration you'll feel the tonality you will feel the energy you will feel their deeper motivation and their, where they are connected to in their hearts you will feel where they are really at and if you feel where they're really at you'll no longer be able to lie to yourself pretend you'll no longer be able to say i didn't know you will feel the truth of where they are at in reality which then puts the responsibility onto you. Many times we don't want to feel, we don't want to acknowledge, and we make it the other person's responsibility to speak to us a certain way, to tell us the truth and what have you. When the truth is, when you are willing to take on that level of responsibility, you now take on the ownership. You no longer have the excuse to say, oh my God, I didn't know. They lied to me. They want you. You no longer have that excuse if you are feeling connected and discerning. Look, sure, people do what they do. People lie. People don't tell the truth. But if you're willing to, to take on on that next level of responsibility, there are no victims. There's no victims, it's not happening to you. You can own, this is what I feel. And do the best that you can. It puts the responsibility back onto you, and when the responsibility is in your hands, then you have power, power to choose, power to change, power to make different decisions. You're fully empowered in that moment. So. Listen beyond the words. And one of the things I found really helpful in feeling and cultivating a deeper feeling, a sensitivity, feeling through, but also connecting to the body. Many times beyond your mind, because your mind might be saying, this sounds great, what they're saying is great, they love me, they want to be with me, they want to do this, they, this is great. But, but you might feel a sensation in your body that like something doesn't feel right. Something isn't vibrating cleanly. Something isn't quite connecting. And it can be a split second, it can be one percentage point. Listen to the wisdom of your physiology. Listen to the wisdom of your body. Your body has an intelligence. Your body knows beyond the mind, beyond the logic. Listen and connect to the wisdom of your body. Because many times when something is off, when someone's lying to you, your body will feel it. The other thing I'll say 
about how to feel if someone is lying to you or not is many times, you know, we, we project what we want onto people. We have this idea of who someone is. We have this idea of who someone should be. And we're often not in relationship with who they actually are right now, who they actually are in reality. We're often in relationship with our projection onto them. We're in relationship with essentially ourselves. Or we're in relationship, we, we can so see the potential of this, this, this husband, this spouse, this lover, this boyfriend, this girlfriend, this person, that we, we, we project the potential onto them and many times we, we're in relationship with our projection or we're in relationship with the potential that we see in them, not necessarily the reality of who they are. If you want to realign yourself, if you want to be discerning and take responsibility and you can say, you know, what you have to be willing to do is not be in relationship with their potential to stop projecting onto them who you think they are, what you think they can be, what you think their potential is, and simply be in relationship with who they are, the reality, to be in relationship with the reality of who they are right now. They might mean well, they might, you know, they might have all the potential in the world, but if you're simply relating to their potential, in a sense, you're lying to yourself about where they are at. You can see their greatness, you can see their possibility, but also, without judgment, simply see the reality of this is where they are right now. Tell the truth to yourself, Otherwise, you set yourself up to be betrayed. You set yourself up to be lied to. You set yourself up and you're doing it <clears throat> to yourself. You're doing it to yourself. Ultimately, no one can betray you unless you betray yourself. It starts with you. It starts with you. And when you take that level of ownership, you are powerful. Deal with reality, then you can choose what you're going to do and how you're going to relate and how you're going to show up and you can adjust your behaviors accordingly. This is what this person is. This is what they are. What do, I want to, what do I want to do about that? This is where they are. This is what they're saying. I know that this is not where they're really at, even though this is, where they're, this is what they're saying. Well, how do I want to relate to them? And what do I want to do about that? This is a key. Deal with the reality <clears throat> of where they are. Sometimes we <clears throat> so want uh, an outcome to be a certain way. Sometimes we so want to be with a certain person, be friends with a certain person, be connected to a certain person that way that we, 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 we kind of like cloud our knowing, we cloud our intuition. And the truth is, if we were to truly embrace our knowing, our deeper knowing, you'd access your power. If we were to truly embrace our deeper intuition, Sometimes we're afraid that it may mean no longer having a relationship with that person. It might mean having to end our job. It might mean ending the relationship. It might mean whatever it might mean. And as a result, we're afraid to fully own our knowing because owning your knowing is a responsibility because it requires that you own your power. Amazing friends, I invite you right now to trust your knowing. You know, you know because there's a part of you that knows everything. You are, you are divine, you are magnificent, you are the source. At the depth of your being is the source of all knowing. Trust that intelligence and set yourself free. Wherever you are, I'm sending you lots of love right now. Be true to yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this blog, I invite you to share it with everyone in your life. Forward it, share it with them, connect with me. Let's stay connected and you'll receive amazing videos and inspirations over the upcoming weeks and months to come. Love now, sending you love. Big hugs.